So here's the Geo Orbit wheel. Make any bike an electric bike in like one minute. Just kind of wanted to make this video so you can just see how it actually really works on an actual ride. Here's a start from a dead stop acceleration. They say they go about 20 miles an hour. Yeah, pretty much. I think it's about top speed right here. It's pretty fast for electric. It's just the front wheel. I wanted to test it out on like all terrains and hills on this video so anyone can see how it actually really works. And uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of terrain where I live. So this is a really good test. I actually really like it. I took this out maybe two or three times already. It's fast for an electric bike. I like the acceleration. The battery's pretty good. They say you can go 20 to 50 miles assisted with pedaling. On my trips, I totally went unassisted. I'm pretty much planning on not pedaling ever. So I wanted to see how it worked out. Probably got, like I said, 7 to 10 miles on one battery. Even going full on on all these hills that we'll see coming up. Um, actually over here we're going to see a acceleration from a dead stop up a slight incline. It doesn't look that big but it kind of sucks when you are actually pedaling so here it is. It's pretty good and actually I think I still hit top speed going up this slight incline because it looks pretty fast it's right about here. Looks about 20 miles an hour. No? Am I dumb? So that's pretty cool, but let's check out and see how it works on some hills, because I do not plan on pedaling. Pretty sure one's coming up. Uh, yeah, this one goes up to our metro stop. It is fairly steep, I don't know if you could tell by the video. Um, it's fun to bomb if you skate. Dead stop acceleration. Now this one was pretty steep, so I think could have maybe hit 10 miles an hour going up towards the end of the hill. Got pretty slow, but I mean, again, I'm not even pedaling. Trust me, I'm not cheating. I'm not planning on pedaling. So here's the acceleration up to the very top. It looks pretty, eh, 10 miles an hour, eh. could be, but it is a pretty big hill. I'm not pedaling up it anymore. So let's go check out another hill. This one's pretty steep too. Dead stop acceleration up the hill. Like I said, well, 7 to 10 miles about to the top. It's a pretty steep hill, but... It got all the way to the top, didn't strain too much, it just, have I said about 10 miles an hour, these things are top speed, maybe 20 miles an hour through this trip. Like I said, I did most hills, and I could probably get maybe 10 to 12 miles if you did like a lot of hills and zero pedaling, which I plan to do. But yeah, that's pretty much what they look like going up and down the hills. I do, I say I do, I really like these things. They're performing well, company, they seem pretty cool. Is that even a description? But uh, I think over to towards the end, I also try to go through some gravel and some grass to see how things really worked out. Um, it is pretty good off-road like you're not going top speed but when I was going through the grass and everything and the gravel I mean it's like 30 degrees outside right now so I'm freaking freezing yet I have so much fun in these things I'm like taking this out in like 20 degree weather in the middle of the night <laughs> due to my schedule and I just go until the battery is pretty low but yeah when the battery is low like other people say when you pedal it's like pedaling one of those old workout bikes with the belt. Man, it's pretty tough, but it's fun because if you're going to do assisted, I mean, you're supposed to bike for exercise anyway, so if you got a long trip, yeah, I'll pedal, but 
I could maybe see this thing going on if you're assisted maybe 30 40 miles overall yeah I really like the geo orbit wheel um, I was following them for maybe like you know like over a year and it was supposed to ship in November of 2016 and I got it uh, this month February of 2017 I like how they're running their company so far how they're representing themselves uh, customer service has been great uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how long this product will last yeah I really think you should get one I know they're like a they're I think around thousand dollars or less um, you should probably always look for the deals like I said we jumped on the Kickstarter and I think we got it for around 700 bucks so I am in heaven I'm definitely uh, gonna be using this all the time not just in the summer because right now like I said it's uh, like 20 degrees in the suburbs of Chicago and I am out here just doing it so if you checked out this video and it sparked an interest or motivated you to pick up one of these geo orbit wheels uh, give them a holler and let them know that Eric Sia sent you and uh, I would appreciate that a lot hope you liked the video I had a lot of fun making it because this wheel kicks butt see you out there later